All right. Okay, guys, welcome to wireless security class. A lot of applications and a lot of things are trying to make our lives a little bit easier. And one of the major technology for that one is the wireless technology. Okay. But if you cannot solve the security problem of wireless technology, you are not going to be able to have all these positive applications. Okay. You're going to have some problems. We will see how we're going to compromise. And this is going to be the first chapter that we're going to look. That is going to be IEEE 802.11 wireless security. Okay. So in other words, we're going to look at the basic wireless security stuff. That is the security that you guys are using with your laptops. And we're going to answer some questions. Okay. And those questions are going to be, first of all, can VLANs become completely secure? We don't know right now, but at the end of this chapter, we will try to answer that one. And we will see that, hey, okay, maybe because of this, or if we do this like this, or if we do that like that, there is a chance that VLANs could be completely secure. Okay? Or you may say that, hey, man, with this technology, this is not going to be secure. Okay? But with some level of security, that's going to be enough for us for some level of applications. But I'm not going to use this one for highly sensitive applications, for example. We don't know that yet, okay? But we will find that or we will answer this question very clearly at the end of this chapter, okay? At the end of this chapter. Second one, can organizations that handle private consumer information such as banks, hospitals, and government agencies integrate VLANs with their wired network infrastructure without compromising private and sensitive information. Is it possible? We don't know. They are using it right now. Even your iPhones have a lot of apps for banking applications, for hospitals. For example, if you look at Kaiser, okay, Kaiser Permanente, everything is on the web, basically. You can access your medical records. You can talk to your doctor. You can chat with your doctor. You can send email to your doctor. You can receive email from your doctor. Or you can see your test results immediately after the test is done on your website. Now, on their website, but in your account anyway. Okay? So, I mean, this, these are very private and very sensitive information. And they are using wired networks. And some of them have right now apps. You can access that information by using your phone. This is not going to be just for 802.11 networks, okay? But we have some other networks, wireless networks as well, may be required, okay, for, for the security. For example, your cell phone technology. Right now, cell phone technology becomes, right, very basic wireless technology. You can pay your bills. I mean, even if you uh, watch the ads, for example, Chase Manhattan Bank, if you want to deposit check, you're going to just take the photograph of check with your cell phone, and then just say send to your bank account, you deposit the check. That is that simple right now, okay? But hey, what is the technology, secure technology for cell phones? We're going to see in, in a different chapter, and we're going to spend a huge amount of time actually for two different type of technology, GSM and CDMA. And we will see how proper their security or how is not proper their security. Okay. or how strong their security are, or how weak their security are. And this incorporation, then we can answer those questions. We can say to them, hey, you should be careful, or hey, don't worry about it. This is going to work pretty well. All right? So we, we will see all those kinds of things. What does the future hold for VLANs? If I ask that question to you guys, you're going to just say, future is going to be wireless. Right? I mean, you can answer that question right now, because you see that everything is going based on web applications and wireless, right? Wireless web, let's put it that way. Everything is based on web as an application, but it works on the wireless environments. That is the basic thing. I know in, in the very near future, we're going to carry one thing like iPad type of stuff, okay? Tablet PC, it's going to work like a TV. It's going to work like your <coughs> computer. It's going to work like your cell phone, okay? TV, cell phone, computer is going to be one big device. I'm not going to say big device, but one device, basically. 
And we have new technology right now. It's called femtocell. Have you heard femtocells? Femtocells are, you know, the, 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 in, in cell phone technology, we have cells, right? And we have base station, and everyone talks to that base station. That base station controls that cell. Imagine that you have base station in your house, okay? And you have one cell in your house. And you can actually use all the phones or the wireless devices like using GSM or CDMA technology. It's called femtocells. And it is widely used right now within the companies. Okay? Companies are using wireless telephone. It is actually a wireless network, but it's your own network okay? with your own base station and everything. Also, coverage area is limited. Okay? And the, the communication distances are limited, short distances. But if that is the case, quality of the voice is much, much higher. So you said this is also a feature, and it's wireless. It's wireless. So that's why you may right now say that VLAN is going to be the future. Okay, VLAN is going to be the future. Will VLANs make wired networks absolute? Well, we will see. Okay, we will see. Again, we're going to answer that question after we answer security problems of wireless environments. I'm not just saying 802.11 networks, okay? 11.